Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Eclipse IDE for Java development on your Mac operating system. So let's get started. So first of all, you need to have Java JDK and Java runtime environment installed before installing Eclipse IDE on your Mac. Now, in order to check whether the Java JDK and JRE is installed on your system, the simple check is to go to the system preferences. This is the icon for system preferences. You can just open the system preferences and at the bottom you will be able to see this Java icon here and by this Java icon you will be able to know uh, that Java is already installed on your system, right? So in my case Java is already installed but if in your case it's not installed then you need to install it and I have already made a video on how to install Java on your Mac operating system so if you don't have Java just you you just need to install it first and then come to this video and continue okay so just check if the Java is there and if the Java is already there then we are good to go now the next step is to open your favorite browser and search for download Eclipse for Mac. You just need to search that. And the first link which will appear here is from www.eclipse.org forward slash downloads. Okay. So just click the first link. And now uh, they keep on changing the Eclipse website. So in uh, your case it may be different in future so just keep an eye on that so what I'm going to do here is I will just scroll down a little and I can see get Eclipse Neon which is the newest version I think and I can see this download 64-bit button here but for now I'm not going to press this button I'm going to just press this link which says download packages okay so don't click this button which says download 64 bit but click this button which says download packages and I'm going to just click this link which is going to open this kind of interface. Now uh, this website is intelligent enough to recognize that you have uh, Mac OS so it will automatically select uh, Mac OS X for you but if it doesn't you can just choose it from here okay. Now you can just scroll a little bit down and you have few options. The first option is Eclipse IDE for Java E developers and you can also see what are uh, the tools which you will get for from this uh, you know this IDE right. Second is the Eclipse IDE for Java developers and uh, the description of uh, all the tools are given here. But if you download for example uh, this uh, Java IDE for uh, Java EE you don't have to worry about uh, Java IDE for Java developers because in future you can always add uh, this uh, you know this support to your Eclipse IDE right so if by mistake you wanted to download uh, this one and you downloaded this one in future you can easily extend your Eclipse IDE to support uh, this one also or if you want to support C++ you can do that also in future. So I'm going to just download this first version right and I have the 64 bit operating system so I will just choose uh, this uh, and I'm going to just click this link which says 64 bit right and now it's going to redirect me to the other page now in here you have the download button and if you can scroll down you have uh, other uh, you know mirrors also you can see IBM and some other mirrors for example spring by pivotal and other mirrors right so if you uh, you know uh, comfortable with this uh, mirror which is near to you then just click this otherwise you can choose uh, other mirror from uh, this link right let me uh, just open it for just showing you that what are the other mirror which are available you can uh, just choose for example uh, 
spring by pivotal just click get it and then you can scroll down and you have the option for for example window which we don't want you have this Mac and then you have this option which says Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers right so you can just click this and uh, you will be good to go okay otherwise uh, you can just simply click this download button and it's going to download uh, that for you okay so I'm going to just click this button which is automatically shown to me and it says thank you for uh, downloading Eclipse it's a tar.gz file so it's a zip file and it's going to take some time to download so for that time I'm going to just pause the video because maybe it's going to take a little while to download this uh, zip file okay so once this download is complete we are going to go ahead and see how we can uh, install Eclipse and then we will also see how we can uh, write our first hello world Java program with them. So now the download of this uh, tar.gz file is complete in my case. So I can just uh, open it in finder wherever I have downloaded this file. So this is the gz file. And what I'd like to do is I like to move this uh, gz file into my desired folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it to the documents folder here. And first of all, I'm going to just minimize my browser and in the finder I'm going to make a new folder here so let me make a new folder and I'm going to name it as Eclipse for example okay so this is my Eclipse folder and I will uh, just move this GZ file into this Eclipse folder right and I'm going to go to inside this Eclipse folder and then I'm going to double click on this uh, zip file which is going to extract this file. So just double click on this uh, zip file and in some uh, seconds this file will be extracted and then we will be able to see uh, this Eclipse icon on the finder, right? So you can see this Eclipse icon. You just need to drag it like this in order to see both the zip file and the Eclipse icon. So this is your executable icon which you can use to start Eclipse, right? Some people like to move it to the application and it's totally fine. So you can just uh, select it and move it to the applications and uh, start it from there. Or otherwise, if you don't want it, you can start your Eclipse from here also, right? So I'm going to double click on this icon and for the first time uh, when Eclipse starts is going to give you uh, first of all maybe it will give you this warning which says Eclipse is an application downloaded from internet are you sure you want to open it so we are sure that we want to open it so just click open and then it's going to start Eclipse in your case so you can see Eclipse is uh, starting and in the next step it's going to ask you to select a directory as a workspace workspace is a directory where all your uh, java project or eclipse related project will be saved right so by default it's in your documents folder and it's fine for me but if you want uh, this workspace to be somewhere else you can always browse the folder wherever you want to have your workspace and then uh, just choose that uh, you know directory but for now I'm going to leave it as default and I'm going to click OK and now it's going to start the Eclipse IDE for me so now the Eclipse IDE has been uh, started you can see uh, it like this also uh, you can maximize it or minimize it and resize it and uh, for the first time it's going to look like this so you can see the review IDE configuration settings or create a new Java EE web project or some other uh, sample projects you can see you can also see the tutorial and samples but we are interested in creating our first Java project using Eclipse right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this file option 
on the Eclipse. So just click this file option on Eclipse and then go to new. So just click new and you will be able to see uh, different kind of uh, projects here. So JPA projects and uh, other kind of projects here. So I'm going to just click uh, for now project. And now you will be able to see this option. Okay. So once again, I'm going to show you file and then new and I have selected the project option from here, right? And it's going to give me this option. And in here, I'm going to choose Java. So just choose this option, which says Java and then choose the Java project. Okay. So just choose the Java project from here. And then you just need to click next. And in here you can uh, provide the name of your project. So for example, we are creating the hello world project. So I'm going to uh, name my project as hello world. And then uh, in here by default, it's going to recognize the Java JRE uh, for you. So in my case, it's uh, Java SE 1.8. In your case, it can be different, right? So by default, it's going to recognize it. And uh, if you want to choose some specific JRE, you can just uh, choose this option and choose uh, your specific JRE. But for now, I'm going to leave it as default. Now, in the next category, you have the project layout. So it says uh, use project folder as root for source and class files. And other is create a separate folder for source and class files. So I'm going to leave it as default, which is create separate folders for source and class files, right? And uh, the other thing is working set. Right now we are not uh, so much interested in this, but later we will do it, right? And then I'm going to click finish here. And this is going to give you this kind of warning, which says uh, this kind of project is associated with Java perspective, right? So we have uh, downloaded the Java EE uh, IDE and by default, it's going to show us the Java EE perspective, but we uh, are creating the Java uh, project inside this Java EE IDE. So it's going to change the perspective. Uh, that means the look and feel of this IDE to the Java uh, perspective, right? So just click yes here. And we are going to minimize this uh, welcome screen. So just minimize this welcome screen. And when you minimize this uh, welcome uh, window, then you will be able to uh, see your hello world project, right? So just minimize your welcome uh, window. And now you will be able to see this uh, hello world project. Now in our hello world, there is a sole source folder and uh, nothing inside it, right? So we need to create a class, which is a main uh, class for our uh, hello world project, right? And you will be able to see JRE uh, system libraries, which helps you to uh, compile your Java project. So just select your source folder and right click on it. And uh, generally, first of all, uh, in our project, we create some packages and then we create some classes. But for simplicity, for now, I'm going to just uh, directly create a class. So just uh, go to new and then click class here. And then you can uh, give the name of your class, right? So for now, I'm going to just name it as uh, test for now. And uh, you can choose which kind of modifiers you want to use it because we are just testing our first Java project. So I'm going to leave everything as default, but this is important here. So this asks you to, uh, uh, you know, it's asking you which method stub you would like to create, right? So it's better to choose uh, this uh, first option, which is going to directly create a public static void method for you and you don't need to create the main uh, method inside your class for you, right? So it's going to automatically create uh, this uh, method for you, right? So just select uh, this option and then click finish and it's going to create this uh, test.java file for you and you can see it directly have the main method for you, right? So 
you already may have known that uh, Java is all about classes. So it has created a, a class for us. And this is the main entry point for your uh, project, right? Main method, right? And for example, we want to just uh, print hello world here. So I uh, can just write uh, system dot out and then dot print line. So just write print ln for print line. And uh, inside this uh, bracket, you just need to give the double quotes. And inside the double quotes, you can just write hello world. Okay, so what this is going to do is it's going to print this hello world on the console when you run it. Now you would need to run your project, right? So you can uh, click right click on your Java file. So just right click on your test.java file and then you will be able to see this option which says run as and you have two options here run on server and run as java application so you need to run it as java application so i'm going to choose the second option and then uh, you just need to choose uh, your dot uh, java file in my case it's only one so just select it and then click ok which is going to compile your uh, program and you can see on the console it has printed hello world for us right now there is a shortcut for uh, you know uh, writing this code which is system out uh, print line and which is you just need to write capital s and then y s and then o sys o and then just press control shift to get the you know intelligence so just press control shift and then uh, press enter which is going to give you this method right and uh, you can just uh, write something again so for example hello world again right now for the first time when you compiled your program uh, you just uh, have right click then uh, run it as uh, you know Java application but once you have already run it you can just press this green button now to in order to uh, you know compile and run it right but before that you just need to save it so just press the save button here and then click this green button so just press this green button and it will compile it and you can see the output here once again hello world and hello world again which is printed by these two lines so now you